Well, the air racing in China is not multitasking. It's not even triple tasking. It's multiple, triple, quadruple tasking. You know, it's pretty incredible in China. General aviation is just coming of age there. They're just starting to open up the airspace. So the environment in the country is a lot like it was in the 1930s in America. 20, 30 percent of the population has never even seen an airplane before. The well, Chinese people were completely in awe. I mean, it was like they had seen something out of a science fiction movie. And the crowds were unbelievable. We had a half a million people in attendance over six days of racing, and the crowds were mobinous. I mean, we felt like the Beatles. I felt like Lindbergh almost. It's like the invention of the car in the United States. They were just so excited to see something different. We were almost like rock stars when we were over there. It's, it's an incredible audience, and it's an incredible sport taking place in an incredible country. Wow. I have never seen anything like this ever. It's, a, it's an exciting time to be there. It's the wild west of aviation and we're the pioneers. It's awesome. We thought it would be interesting to have multiple airplanes like they have in Reno, but do slalom style close course racing like Red Bull. So it's really the best of both worlds. Chinese style racing tends to be more dangerous because we're running a freestyle course. Each race is individually choreographed. So each individual one is a different race. It creates something that's exciting. It's right in front of the crowd. It's very demanding on the pilots. Uh, yes, it's very dangerous, but it's managed danger. Really brings out the excitement in the spectators, and even it's exciting for the pilot, too. Well, air racing started the minute somebody could fly an airplane in the first place. Uh, in the 1930s, air racing was huge. It was as big as NASCAR is today. You had the Bendix Trophy, the Thompson Trophy. As far as spectators go, that was their Super Bowl. It was a huge, huge sport. And it was a golden era of aviation. Well, really, air racing is a combination of aerobatic flying, formation flying, and combat techniques. You're tracking another car, or two other airplanes, you're maneuvering between obstacles, which are the pylons, and you're trying to execute all of that to gain a situational advantage or a tactical advantage. So, in essence, we call it threading the needle. Basically, fly low, fly fast, don't run into each other, and have some fun and be safe. Well, in the uh, slalom racing that we're doing, we fly through a slalom course and then we reverse back. We execute a wing over or sometimes called a combat reversal. The thing is, the guy with the best cornering ability is going to be able to take the advantage in that turn. So the objective is to pull up max G, best cornering speed, and get back inside of the other racer and back onto the course. Adrenaline is huge. It just, you have to be part of the race team to actually know. I mean, it's one thing to be on the spectator side of it, but to be on the air racing, and in the cockpit, up close and personal with it, it's just a... Uh...